So what are the values that you can assign to a variable once you've declared it? Let's say I have a var ABC. Okay, what are the values that you can add to it? There are some primitive types that come with the language. As with any language, there are certain primitive types that come out of the box. Some of the standard types are number, all right? Number is a very common type in most programming languages. There's also string, which is fairly common. It's for text. And then there is a Boolean, which has the values true and false. Again, these are common uh, you know, primitive types that exist in a lot of different languages. So let's cover some of the differences in those types versus those other languages. Let's start with number. Number is a JavaScript type for storing numbers. And numbers in JavaScript are double precision 64-bit format IEEE 754 values. What this means is you don't have integers as such. Okay, so this is all floating point double precision 64-bit numbers. So in languages like Java, for instance, you have int, you have uh, double, you have float, you have a whole lot of different types depending on the precision of the number that you want to hold. But in JavaScript, you don't have that option. Every number you declare, even if you want to declare the number with the value of one, it is not an integer one, it's a double precision 64-bit value containing the value of one. Okay, so let me give you a quick demo about this. So I'm going to open the scratch pad here and uh, declare a variable var a equals 10. And now I do console dot log of a. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a variable, assigning it a value and then printing it on the console, all right? So let me clear this out. And then uh, if I click run, there you go, the value 10 is printed. Notice the color that the Firefox console prints this value in. The color is actually green right now. It The console prints different types in different colors. So when we talk about the next type, which is string, I'm gonna highlight the difference in the color, but it's a, it's a handy indicator to know what type you're printing. All right, so let's say I do uh, var b equals 20. And then now I can say console.log of b. I'm going to clear this out again before I run this. And I click run. There you go. 10 and 20 get printed. I can also do some basic math. Let's say I do a var c equals a plus b and I do a console.log of c. Clear the console again and I'm going to click run. There you go, 10, 20, 30 is printed. All right, so these are numbers in JavaScript. What's not very obvious when you look at these numbers is that it's actually a floating point number which is behind uh, these values that you see over here. It does look like integer here, but uh, there are some math calculations where the precision is a bit off when you do JavaScript. Again, this depends on the interpreter that you use, but uh, you can, in some interpreters, you can do something like 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6, and what you should ideally get is one, but what you do end up getting is 1.0000001, right? Some value like that. And that's where the true nature of these values kind of, you know, come to surface, that they're actually floating point numbers. But for the most part, when you're working with numbers, you wouldn't have to deal with it, but remember, that these are actually floating point numbers, 64-bit.